What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna be restoring a convertible top on a 64 VW Bug. Let's get into today's video. Alright guys, we have a beautiful 64 VW Bug convertible. Uh, it's been already painted, it's all nice. And we're gonna be working on installing the convertible top. We already had uh, taken off the top frame off the body and went ahead and uh, prepped it, sanded it, got it all painted nice and black. So obviously everything, there's no rust and stuff on it. We also went ahead and got all the new wooden bows on this VW. Uh, the older they get, they had a lot of wood uh, that they use. So we got this stuff uh, from Chuck's Convertibles and uh, we went ahead and uh, got it on there. We have to sand it, kind of get this to fit good on the body. Obviously the back panel here that gets stapled to the top. You have your sides here and your front header bow. So the front header bolt here matches up and we have to sand this underneath to kind of make sure that everything fits under here really nice. Uh, and then some of these pieces actually, we already kind of sanded and kind of fit them to make sure they fit properly. And then from there, we're gonna go ahead and wrap them in the existing matching material, which is like a perforated vinyl. Uh, but from there, we also got the glass piece here, which is the back glass. We already went ahead and put the chrome that goes inside there. It's like a rubber that gets stapled to the top, which I'll show you that frog uh, pretty much. Our next step is we're gonna get the hardware so we can get this all latched up in the front. And then from there, then we can start adjusting the top and proceed to start putting the convertible top on. There's a lot of process and a lot of things that you need to know to get this thing on there, but customer picked out a beautiful, beautiful uh, gray canvas. I think it's gonna complement it really, really nice and then also the off-white perforated underneath uh, vinyl. We have our padding kit, our tacking strip, and tension cables, and you know it, I'll lay all this stuff out to show you guys, but um, the next step is uh, getting this top put on, and uh, me and Juanito are gonna get this thing installed. Juanito says that se lo chinga de volada, dos, tres, que era paso, y ya está, ¿no? En un día. Fácil. <laughs> Easy. Alegrando este Volkswagen. Este es tu año, ¿no? Uh, no, it's más nuevo. Más nuevo. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what you guys saw earlier, the wood pieces that were on here, we went ahead and took them off. And they have to be wrapped in the perforated vinyl because once you're looking from inside, you probably see, you would see a bare wood. So we, it comes with the kit. So we went ahead and put the, the wrap on those wood pieces. And you can see the inside and the outside of this. These are not, you don't have to really wrap these because they're gonna have a piece that goes over it so you won't really see that same with this this is all going to get stapled and covered up pretty much got that covered up and i think the next step is we're going to get this latched up so we've been putting on the hardware went to get some hardware the latch mechanism as you can see here uh, because this is going to bolt to the frame and then from there we can latch this which i think i'll show you the latches uh, if he has them over here, I don't know, got the screws here. Let me look for the latches. As you can see, Juan is very organized. Uh, let me show you guys that. All right, I found it. So this is pretty much the latch that's gonna go here. And it latches to the top header or the windshield that will latch the top. So we're gonna get Get these bolted up, we'll put these on, and then we'll be able to latch that and see what the tension, you know, once the top is on there and how it's supposed to, then we can align all the bows where they're supposed to go so we can get this top on. All right, good morning, guys. As you saw, we got all the wood bows secured. We put the tension straps on this and that keeps the bows from, you know, obviously to be able to, to go down how they should. These have specific measurements here. Um, and then the bow height from here to there is supposed to be like 23 inches. This is basically, this is kind of like to keep the straps on there. And then we go ahead and attach the, the headliner portion and we stick it onto the bow there. Can you tell me cafe? Ahí está, la mesa. Give me breakfast? Uh, en la cocina. 
Thank you. See? Welcome. See, that's like the, the, the good workers that appreciate their boss. Got me breakfast, coffee. Nah, he's just messing around. He never gets me that. Me borró el pinche, el pinche centro. Eso es lo que pasa cuando no me traes breakfast. Saluda al papá de los pollitos. Un saludo de papá, un saludo de papá. Sí, hermanos. <laughs> He's hardcore soccer fan. All right, guys, so we went ahead and uh, Juanito finished up putting on the headliner for the bug and pretty much kind of marked where the back window kind of is. I don't know if you can kind of see the, the chalk mark outline, but all the straps, all this has been put on, glued um, and stapled across the top how it should. Kind of see underneath it. Nice. So the next step from here is it's called the padding, the top padding kit, which is pretty much the barrier that goes in between the convertible top and the headliner, which is like an insulation, also uh, serves as a body for the top to go on to. And that's what we're gonna proceed to put on now. That'll go on, and then after that's done, then we'll get the top on there. So Juanita's gonna start putting on that padding kit. This is the padding kit here. As you can see, it's made out of like, kind of like a canvas vinyl material. And um, it's really strong. You know, it's already comes pretty much sewn. Then from here, once this is put on, we'll put like a padding, which is like some uh, insulation that goes in between that top so that we can kind of, like I said, like a body that'll cover that. See what I thought? Today? <laughs> Not today. Tomorrow? Monday. Monday for sure. All right, so we pretty much already laid down the bottom padding kit. Uh, that's gonna go in between, which is, I was telling you, that material that was on there. Went ahead and stapled this. And it's this pad. The padding can, padding kit consists, back in, the, back in the day, they used to use like horse hair and some other stuff. But now, obviously, with newer, modern materials we can use, it's a foam pad that goes on here. You can see it's gonna like smooth everything out. This will actually wrap over it like so to kind of go over it and get stapled correctly. So that'll be a smooth body so that when the top goes on here, it creates kind of like a nice body to that piece. You know what I mean? So this has to be all stapled to the wooden bows that go up here. The same with this wooden bow in the back. And this gets centered. And then from there, this will flap over that and then we'll get that glued onto that. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Happy Monday. Today, got an update on the VW. We went ahead and finished putting on the padding kit on the top of the VW frame. Basically, we're gonna have a little bit more padding that's gonna go from here to here. And from there, we can cut this out where the back window's gonna be. We'll go ahead and staple that to that, and that'll leave the next step, which will be putting on the top and getting everything secure. We already have our tension cables here. Then you'll really start seeing kind of the commencing stages of the top being put on the car. So that's why it's multiple steps. We got our headliner, we got our padding kit, and we have to wrap our bows, shape them, but it's gonna be coming together, guys. Juan, what are you doing? Why did you cut the hole? Um, make the, como estoy haciendo well, la why did you make the hole? Para la medida de la ventana. Okay. And is that right? I think it's too high. Está, está bien. Cinco pulgadas de aquí a aquí. Todos llevan la misma medida. There you go. Okay. Five inches, guys. If you're not five inches and above, you got problems. So, five inches. This is all I got. This is all I got. ¿Te una cinta? All right, so uh, pretty much uh, Juanito is finishing up putting the bow, which is like the um, where the Five rear window is going to be. Five inches. Uh oh, actually, that's below. You're four inches, Juan? Five. Cuatro pulgadas, nomás, Juan? Cinco pulgadas de la lámina. Cuatro, mira. Cuatro. Al atrás, al atrás. A ese atrás. Five inches. 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 Five
Set. Set. You five pulgadas, that's it? No, I give a um, something como 11. <laughs> 11 inches. <laughs> 11. <laughs> 11 maybe in. <laughs> All right, so pretty much we got the back window uh, tacked into here. Pretty much we're gonna have to tack the headliner into the tacking strip here, get that ready. And after that, what do we got, Juan? We're gonna put padding here, right here. to fill that. Over there. And the then what, ready for the top? Mm -hmm. Ready for the top. Right. So the next step will be finish tacking this up and we'll get the top on this thing. Guys, here's the first mock-up of the top. We have to run the tension cables through here. As you can see, there's a little channel. And it comes with a little rope that you pull the new tension cable through that bottom. Right, but top looks pretty good. Color looks really nice. Juanito, I think today's the day. Yeah? I don't think so. Tomorrow. Oh, mañana. Mañana, que hoy, mañana, hago, hago, hago más trabajo. No nomás es ese. Estás cambiando. <laughs> Excuses. <laughs> no, 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 no. The hole's too big, Juan. Me dejó el hoyo muy grande. Muy grande, mira, tiene hoyo muy grande. Se puede tapar, ¿no? Claro. Es el tapa hoyo, dice. Puta madre. Tapa hoyo, ¿no? The body. Ready for you? Y luego la craqueguita de... de... Andale, pues extra. <laughs> Kevin? <laughs> you did the body work, Kevin, he says? Like 10 years ago. Andale. Garantía por 10 años. Así 10 años no salía ni mal. One of the other things that we're going to take care of while the bug is here, there's some chromes that run along the windows, which is the back quarter windows and the front windows. It's like a chrome with a sweep, as uh, Mr. Luisón. Is installing right now, just kind of like Mata a finishing. Osos. Oh, I'm sorry, Mataositos um, Motorsports. Ma Mataosos Motorsport. There you go. That's that's his. That's how he's well known. Mataosos Motorsports. If you guys know what that means, comment below. See if you guys really know what Mataosos means. But uh, he's gonna put these pieces on, kind of finish up the the door chrome and getting everything assembled. We're almost close to finishing up this top. We're waiting for the last channel that goes in the um, in the window. It's like a little chrome that slides in there. We'll be able to put that on, put the glass in, and uh, she's getting close. All right, guys, and this Volkswagen Bug is ready to go home. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. Right, guys thank you guys so much for tuning in this was just a quick video to show you guys that we do a little bit of everything here at SOS customs if you have a vw bug that needs a new top then you know where you guys thank you guys so much here at SOS customs we got you covered peace